Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again, everyone. Uh, today we will be solving radical equations again, but this time we would be solving um a little bit of complex examples, okay? And to be specific, let's say we have examples where in the x's are more than one, okay? So let's try to solve for the very first example. Say we have two x plus the square root of two x plus five is equal to x plus one. So what do we do in these kinds of cases? I I did told to you, told you guys that whenever you will try to ano to cancel out the radical because that is your main aim to solve for the unknown is firstly you need to um to call this make sure that the radical covers the entire side of the equation. In this case it does. Therefore let's start canceling. This one is of course on square square root though so therefore we need to cancel this by using the concept of raising the given both sides okay raising the given both sides by 2 equals to x plus 1 squared okay in this case it's not distributive po, huh? this one is under square of binomial okay if you would, would if you would want you know, you can go to my channel so you can review how square of binomial is done. In any case, the square of binomial will give you x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, next put all the x's on one side of the equation just to make sure you are on the um, right path. Okay, so, uh, we will have x squared plus um, 2x minus 2x for a while long pa. Let me just arrange the equals. Sige, maybe let's put the x on the other side. Okay, so we have 2x squared plus 2x. We transpose this x, so minus 2x. And this one, we transpose on the other side. So it's 5 minus 1. Okay? And then 2x minus 2x will give us, of course, 0. Which will leave us to x squared and 4. Because 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. And lastly, again, we are solving for the unknown. Therefore, you leave it alone. Just like the concept of canceling the radical with the exponent, okay? We can also cancel the exponent by getting the radical. Yan. Okay, so in this case, we get the square root. Okay, we get the square root. And getting the square root will leave us with 2 is equals to x or just simply x is equals to 2. So we have solved for the very first example of those a little bit complex um, radical equations. Okay. So next example, let's say we have 4x, the square root of 4x plus 5 minus x is equals to 2. Transpose everything on the other side. Again, why? Because you can only cancel the radical easily if the radical covers the entire side of the equation, leaving you with the square root of 4x plus 5 is equal to x plus 2. Okay? So, having this, let's get the square of both sides. Lalabas ko na lang dito. Yan ha. Medyo informal yan, but this is, ano, this is one way. Okay? So, cancel, cancel, leaving us with 4x plus 5 is equal to square of binomial po. Remember, lalagay ko na nga lang dito. Square of binomial ng x plus 2 would give us um, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Okay? So, solving for the unknown, transpose everything on one side, it will give us x squared plus 4x, lipat natin si 4x on the other side, and lipat natin si 4 on the other side. This is 5 minus 4. Leaving us with 1 is equals to x squared. And again, we solve for the x by getting the square root, kasi we want to eliminate the square, because again, for solving the unknown, you leave it alone, okay? So, the square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of x squared is simply x, giving us a value of 1 is equal to x, or we can have it as x is equal to 1, okay? So, I hope you got that. Let's have another example. Um, say we have this one. The square root of 5x minus 2 is equals to the square root of x minus 6. Now, this would be look a little bit complicated, but what do we need to do? Considering that the square root covers the entire equation or the entire side, sakop ng square root ito, 
sa hub din ng square root ito, right? So, therefore, we can get the square of both sides. Getting the square will cancel the square root, leaving us with 5x minus 2 is equal to x minus 6. Then again, solve for the unknown, leave it alone, and firstly, combine them together. Lahat ng x mo pagsamahin mo. Combine all the x's. 5x, lipat sa kabila. Negative x. This would give you negative 6 plus 2, leaving you with, this would be 4x, is equal to negative 4. Solving for x, transpose the 4, it's times 4, it becomes divided by 4, leaving you finally with the value of x as is equals to negative 1, your final answer. Okay? So, this would fall under class ano, evaluation, evaluating, and it would be complicated a little bit for you guys kung, if you cannot remember those steps. Okay? But in any case, we are mainly focused on solving radical equations, okay? So, let's have another one. Say we have the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equals to 5. Yan. Sorry, may plus 1 dito. Yan. Is equals to 5. Now, how do we solve for this one? We solve this one by just simply in two ways. Dalawang way po yung pag-solve natin dito, okay? The first way is, of course, let's split it into two. First way and second way. Okay? First way would be expressing this term inside as the square of binomial. How? What would happen? This would also this is also equal to x plus one square. Yeah, itong number sa loob na yan, this num this this trinomial inside is also known as the SB or the square of binomial. Okay, square of binomial yan. But the thing about that is you can express that in its um, special product form. Anong special product form yan? Ito. So, the answer for this one would be this one. That's why it's also equivalent. We can change it. So, like going back. Let me remove the underline here. Oh my god. Okay. So, this would be equal to square root ng x plus 1 squared equals to 5. Now, in this case... Remember that the radical and the exponent will cancel each other in any given order. May it be the square root of x squared or the square of the square root of x. Okay? It's the same. They will cancel each other, whatever happens. So what would be left is x plus 1 is equal to 5, leaving us with x is equal to 5 minus 1 and x is equal to 4. Okay? Now, on the other case, sabi, sabi ko, there are two ways of solving this one. This one is the long method, but this one is the method that we are already using. Ito yung ginagamit natin. So, let's try to use the method that we are already using. Ano pong ginagawa natin? If your given is already under the this uh, radical, you can now cancel the radical. Okay? So, leaving you with x squared, cancel na yan, plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 25. Then again, we will fall back into the concept of square of binomial. This one is sb, giving you x plus 1 squared. Solving for the unknown, you must leave it alone, get the square root, Get the square root, cancel, cancel, x plus 1 is equal to, what's the square root of 25? Remember, it's simply 5. Solving for the unknown will leave us with 5 minus 1, x is equal to 4. So, you will see, class, that the factoring method and special product will be very important on this case. And I have prepared videos on, our, on my YouTube channel so that you can view and review view and review those different cases, okay? So, let's go to our last example. I mean, second to the last example. So, I have this one. Minus 6x plus 9 is equals to 4. Yeah. I mean, sige, let's, let's equals to minus 4 is equals to 0. Okay, what do we need to do here, guys? We need to, of course, transpose muna. 
or we um so yeah, let me solve this one on my on my own way okay this one is square of binomial sb ulit okay this one is also equals to x squared sorry x minus 3 squared minus 4 is equal to 0 remember radicals and squares cancels cancels out each other leaving you with x minus 3 minus 4 is equal to 0 and lastly x minus 3 minus 4 will give you x minus 7 is equal to 0 and x is equals to positive 7 see okay and let's have our final example um, example number six being yeah let's make let's take something the most complicated one that i could see in our resources x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equals to x squared plus 6x plus 9 solving this one will give us sb again and another sb leaving us with the square root of x plus 4 squared equals to the square root of um, I think this is um, x plus 3 squared yes cancel cancel and cancel and cancel um, this will give you x plus 4 is equals to x plus 3 I believe this would not give me any answer at all I would believe so because this is 4 am I correct yeah, if you square both sides okay so this would not give me any answer at all I would believe so so maybe let's try another approach Sige. I saw another approach so let's not use the SB because if in SB wala tayong makuha ang sagot let's try this one let's square this is I think this is 9 okay let's square both sides so cancel cancel we will have x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equals to um, cancel cancel x squared plus 6x plus 9 remember we transpose all x's on one side giving us with x squared minus x squared kasi ito nilipat ito yan negative 6x right plus 8x minus 6x is equals to transpose becomes negative 9 minus 16 leaving us with this one would become 0 8x minus 6x would give us um 2x and 9 minus 16 will give us um would this be 7 i think it would be 7 negative 7 okay am i correct negative am i correct 9 minus 16 mm, yeah it's negative 7 i would guess because okay so you yeah, divide by 2 sorry uh, that was a little bit stupid of me so divide by 2 or of course transpose this times 2 will give you sub x is equal to negative 7 over 2 and this would be your final answer see there are different ways of solving some ways cannot work but if you try using another way it could work so it would just fall under trial and error if it fails then you must try to look for another way and in any case this would be the different examples of the complicated um uh, radical equations that I will be giving you. Thank you everyone for listening. If you would have any other questions, you can check the video again or you can chat me in our group. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.